Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. I work for Bellathor at the General Goods Store. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more experience if I'm going to run an insult. Rise up, children of the Empire! Rise up, Stormcloaks! Embrace the word of mighty Dalos! He who is both man! And divine! Trust in me, White Run. Trust in Heimsker. For I am the chosen of Talos. I alone have been anointed. I love, love, even as man, great Talos, cherish for he saw in us, in each of us, the future of They say Helgen got hit by a dragon, one of those horrors called... <laughs> Brigands I can handle, but this talk of dragons? World's gone mad, I say. My lord, please. This is no time for rash action. What's the meaning of I this interruption? Jarl Balgruf is not receiving I visitors. Just... Who's this then? As House Karl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. You know about Helgen? The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Approach.
So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that Your dragon is lurking in the mountains... Do that is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps? Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Varengar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill her in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me? Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Ah, the Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes the Jarl foists on me. That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. Wait for me. Varengar. Varengar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? W what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me. All this standing dragon. around is rubbish. We oh, should be taking right. the fight to the storm. So it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irileth, we'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. 
Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. Help Irileth kill this dragon before it can attack Whiterun. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. All this standing around soul, is rubbish. I'm not a man. I'm a weapon in human form. Just unsheath me and point me at the enemy. I'll see you at the watchtower as soon as the rest of the men have gathered. My brother takes counsel from Proventus Avenici. What a laugh. He takes counsel from his daughter, and she's a bloody blacksmith.
Old friend. Patron of the great clan Battleborn. Nord is the next man, but I'm no fool. I don't live in the back. <laughs> don't soldiers. They're everywhere these days, and not a one of them knows how to pick up after themselves. I envy you the chance to see this dragon up close. Another wanderer, here to lick my father's boots. Good job. One of the new servants? Remember that I like my meat rare. Another wanderer, here to lick my father's boots. Good job. Thinking of settling in? There's a house for sale, Breeze Hall. You should talk to the steward up in the keep if you're interested. Glad you're here in the city and not out in Riverwood. Those poor sods don't even have a wall. Lady, I 
Could you spare a coin? Need something? Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. It's... It's what Brennan said I should do. He's the only one that's been nice to me since... Since Mama. Since she died. My aunt and uncle took over our farm and threw me out. Said I wasn't good for anything. I wound up here, but... I, I don't know what to do. I miss her so much. You're the best! Can you be my mother? I know your family's honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thieves dead. I can't stop now, and I can't get the sword on my own. So you're willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some rusty old sword? I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. You won't starve. I'll put it plainly. You can claim your sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I won't be here when you return. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby, but I'm no fool. I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. If you find that sword, please bring it. Safir! Wait, I... I just want to go home and read. Sometimes I miss the soldier's life, but when I hold my daughter in my arms, I know I made the right choice. Did you know there are some fruits that actually grow better in the cold weather? The guards in Dragon Street say you aided the yard. You already have been time. told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now get lost. We will be back. This is not over. You there. We're looking for someone in Whiterun, and we'll pay good money for information. A woman, a foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun, so we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. If you locate her, find us in Rorikstead. Do you have news of our quarry?
This war's as stupid as our feud with Clan Grey Main. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened, and if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out, and look for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. Everybody, get back!
What manner of power is that? We taught that dragon not to mess with White Run, didn't we? I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Well, you can shout now. You couldn't before, right? That can only mean one thing. You must be Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons here. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. Old tales tell of Do you believe in this Dragonborn business? Hmm. <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical Dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is... More than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting, what you just did. Must be. You really are Dragonborn, then. Do you have news of our quarry? We will find her eventually.
I'm right behind you. Yes? Hmm? We'll have to have a pint together sometime, you and me. But Izmir, you did it! You killed the dragon. Olfred, patron of the great clan Battleborn. There has been talk amongst the gods that you are Dragonborn. But such a thing, surely, is not possible. Good. You're finally here. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Enjoy your visit Ooh, to Dragon's bird. Reach. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. So it's true. The Grey Beards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Hrothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? That's the Greybeard's business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeard's heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeard's. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once, did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place, very disconnected from the tr- You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl. 
and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. Don't think you can barter with me like I'm one of those damn shopkeepers. I worry about the other settlements in the hold. Unwalled, lightly manned, prime targets for those damn dragons.
Oh. Ah, hello, my Kaji. An archer, eh? I've got just what you need. Thank you very much for your business.
Oh. Beat me! 